I've been cutting my own hair for a few years. I figured I'm cutting my own hair. I might as well share with you how I do it. My brother's girlfriend is actually an ex-hairdresser, so you can go to her account if you want to have more faith in somebody. And she is also the one who taught me this. So this is like a really wet or damp paper towel. And with your hair cutting scissors, make sure that it's sharp enough to like cut through. If it's not sharp, don't cut your hair with that kind because it can just lead to further damage and it's not good for your hair. So make sure it's at least sharp and pretty decently quality scissors. You can get some for like 30 bucks, it's pretty good. Um, I'll link these ones in the description below. Obviously be very careful with your fingers because these scissors are sharp, so don't cut yourself. I just cut um, 8 or 9 inches off 6-7 uh, months ago. You can see how long it is. <laughs> when I cut it off, I cut off, it was like looking pretty disgusting but it's my wash day today um anyways i want to get some layers i'm going to take a pretty big chunk i'm going to put it up with a clip I'm just measuring how long it is right now 22 ish inches i'm going to take off i think two inches you want to have your fingers there to um, prevent any sliding I'm just gonna go in and like fringe it a little bit. You um, don't want to be moving your head like this, you know, like a little bit like this, because then you think it's lined up here. You straighten your head and it's up here, you know. Take down my next layer. You want to see the last um, line that you did and match it up to that. Like here's what I cut just now, and here's this layer. See, this is why they suggest straightening it, because it pops up. I'm just going to match this side to this side. Then do the same with this last one, or however many. If you have thick hair, you want to do a few, because if it's too thick, the scissors are just going to be... Did you hear that cat noise? <laughs> you can kind of go from the middle because uh, you really don't want to take your bangs at this point and add a little ponytail or little clips or whatever to them. Take the middle part of your crown here. So you want to pull it straight up. My arms are definitely not that long. <laughs> I'm going to pull it like this. Very straight. You can kind of look in the mirror where you want your last layer to go. Hold it very, very straight. I'm gonna cut this much off. Now I have this one I just cut. You can separate into another chunk like that. Right? And then you add some of the piece that you just cut so you're taking that with you. This looks like it's a big section, but it's really not. It's just frizzy. Like, look how little it is. You can barely fit a finger around it. But you could do less than this, too, if it's, like, too much hair and you're overwhelmed. So, yeah, just matching it to what you've previously cut, that same length. From your top here, your crown, to the bottom. I just want to show you very clearly that you think that the bottom layer is cutting off to the same level as the top layer because um, I cut it straight, you can see it's all the same length and then once you pull it to the side you can see the top layers are falling because they're shorter so you can see there's a bunch of lengths in there there's here here and it's like slowly getting longer so that's what that does when you pull it up. Still be cautious if you're thinking, oh, this is taking way too much off the bottom layer. But just so you know that at the top, once you pull it down, it, it falls into place. See how it's all the way down? It just naturally does that with this technique. I've done everything except for these front two pieces, but I'm going to grab the very back just because I cut it in half. 
and did this side and this side and just because I might have missed some I'm just going to do this very last section. Remember to take a piece from what you've already cut to measure, um, to compare the length to. And again, you want your bangs to fall. I used to cut from here, like, and then kind of blend it into the bottom, all the way to the bottom here. I kind of like line it where I would wear a ponytail. I didn't want it to frame my face. Just a little bit. I'll start like here and I'll go downwards. And now you make it a transition. Before you give yourself bangs, definitely always go longer. Very gradual. Um, but I found that this is just too short for, for my hair. My hair is really straight at the top, flat, and then it starts curling here. I always tuck my hair behind my ears, and then the curl forms right after I've tucked it under my ear. So like, ear length, here's where my hair curls. And I like keeping that, so I like keeping it at least this long. And this doesn't represent the true length because it's so oily. Normally, it is around this length, so make sure you're keeping in mind how long your shrinkage is. So with my shrinkage, it's about like this long. Um, so I don't want to really cut any length off of my bangs. Back. I'm just going to put that in a ponytail just because. So you kind of take your bangs, whatever, whatever length you want them. You can cut it like here, but I would start with, you know, going slow. I'm just going to take off the little ends here. And here you want to be more of a fringe, like going up into it. You can kind of see it slips out one at a time. You match up the closest together pieces, which should be the same already because you cut them at the same time. Then I cut the outside pieces to be the same length. And then I do one along the middle. So the middle would be like start and middle. Middle, middle-ish. And then I make sure that's the same length. And then from there, I can do the same diagonal cut thing. You can definitely do it a lot higher up. You can do a slope that's more like this. Mine is more gradual, like this. happy with it. I just wish I went a little bit um, shorter with that top layer, which is funny because I, when I was doing it, my heart sunk a bit. I was like, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> if your hair goes slowly, then just cut slowly and then you can go in and do it again. Good luck and please let me know if you want to watch some more hair stuff while well, uh, my curly wavy hair journey because I've been doing a lot of research um, and I'd like to share everything I'm I've learned slash that I'm still learning. So also, if you have any tips, please let me know. Thank you so much.